everybody, this is the uh, propane generator I've been working on. I've got it apart right now just because I'm putting all the sheet metal back on it. And uh, a while back I just wanted to point out to somebody that it's uh, kind of a neat design. It uses permanent magnets, but the permanent magnets are on the rotor, but the rotor is on the outside of the stator. So what's uh, neat about this is it doesn't need any uh, slip rings or brushes or anything like that. So it's a uh, it's a little bit more efficient of a design. Um, it's kind of hard to see, so I'll bring the camera in and let, let you get a closer look. So here we are in a close-up on the generator. Starting here, we've got the carburetor. This is where the LP comes in. This is where the air from the air filter comes in. This is a 220 cubic centimeter single cylinder spark engine. And over here, here's our spark plug, our starter solenoid, and um, the drive shaft of the single cylinder engine is vertical and that drive shaft goes up and it connects to uh, this whole unit so the drive shaft comes up through it and this is sort of a giant cup that sits on top and it rotates and this has the permanent magnets inside of it so if you look down in here you can see the coils of the generator so those are copper coils that the electricity is going to flow through, but those are fixed. That's actually the stator. So if you see I rotate this, those coils do not move with it because they're part of the, uh, the stator. And what I'm moving here is the rotor, but the rotor is actually on the outside. So it's sort of a, a an inside-out generator. And what that does is it means you don't need any slip rings or any brushes, anything like that. So it makes a, a nice, compact, uh, powerful generator. And it's propane, so it runs relatively clean and quiet. And right here, you can see how this kind of pops from one spot to the next. That's because of the permanent magnets kind of sticking on in there.